My first new game from Reindeer Games is called Golfinet. Golfinity? Or Golfinet? Golfinet? I don't know. It's a cheap game on the Nintendo Switch. It's a golf game on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to quickly run you through it. You've got lots of little challenges. I'm going to show you this challenge here right away. Got some very twee sort of graphics. I do driver drill. I didn't want to do this one, but anyway, and use your drivers and hybrid club to the board so that it comes rest within a circle. Okay, fine. So you've got these little challenges here. It's kind of a three three click system. Mucked that up, didn't I? It's a three it's a three click system here on the um. I put a little bit of backspin on it just to slow the ball down. That should be okay. So, um, as you can see, the graphics there, not bad. A little bit of backspin should slow it down. Um, there are little hazards on the course, which are basically things like, um, it's got tortoises and stuff. And hit that. Got things like tortoises and stuff that if you're in the in their sort of territory, they'll come through and just about made it. They'll come through and knock you in the river and stuff like that. So um a few things on here which are very reminiscent of golf story, but there's two benefits to this compared to golf story. One, it's cheap as chips, and two, you haven't got to go wandering around a bloody village or something trying to find the next game of golf, you just play a game of golf. So here what happens is you can, I can now actually maybe get my yardage up to 200 yards from the driver, which is good. And then you get stars and that allows you to do other things. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a tournament because I've got enough there. Caddy Shack, what's that? Boosts, so you can buy different things. Okay, include a row of the green one, line up a part of one charge per hole. I'm gonna buy that. So, giant balls, hey, tell you what, <laughs> do you really want giant balls? I don't know. Um, we'll have that one as well. That'll do at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna go up and do this tournament. Oh, one. So, long old hole, as you can see, there is a map. Um, on the left hand side but it doesn't really tell you much so um, anyway let's just see if we can knock one up there I'm going to put a bit of backspin so I don't overshoot and go into that sort of zone up there like that clearly comes up oh no actually he only knocked me back a bit so it's not too bad might better use that to my advantage actually thinking about it here I'm just going to tonk it and hope that the this time I'm going to move the spin on a little bit. Maybe put a little bit of side spin. Okay. Let's see if we get there with that. Just overdid it a little bit. Um, and now we're going to head in for the hole now. So 11 yards to the first mark. So I've overdone that, but it might hit the flag. It's not, it's not too bad. Okay, no slope there. Okay, par on the first hole. Nice sound effects on this game for the for the par and out. A bit, a little bit like dog gone golfing. I like the um, sound effects on that. So here we go. There's a little tournament. Who am I? Player. Got my name there. Player. Ryan Adams. It's like Brian Adams, isn't it? Ryan Adams at the top of the um, leaderboard, folks. Okay, let's see if we can beat Ryan Adams. Just smash it up there, Steve. Oh, there's trees there, look. so yeah, so it will. There, so I'm gonna try and swerve it in. I put a little bit of swerve on the ball there, I just brought that in beautifully. I think I can use that turtle to my advantage. Not often you say that in life, is it?
sit down. Okay. Just over it that slightly, didn't I? Bit of backspin. Now, the rough here on this. Nice one, definitely, sir. So you're trying to hit it to that little orange mark because it's a three shot system on this game. So any retro gophers um, will be pretty happy with this. Alice McDonald is at the top of the um, of the leaderboard at the moment. A little par three here. Wind coming into me. That will slow me down slightly. And then I'm just thinking that's going to be bob on if I can get the distance right. Didn't need backspin then, so we'll see. Maybe I did. Stop there. Okay, we're on. So that's going to go just very slightly, I think, there. Oh, no, it did slope off that little. Um, so I had a birdie attempt there. I don't even know how many hoses, they're on hole 9, I'm on one under at the moment so I'm not sure there's an 18 hole tournament or not and what I get for winning such tournaments if I manage to. So I'm going to have to put a little back on, a bit, bit, little bit of backspin on this, aim slightly there. Oh, overdid that, oh god, all over the place for the second snap. No, out of bounds. Right, so I cocked up the snap there totally. Double hit the, um, oh my God. Finally find the green here, folks. Stick with me on this, stick with me. That's gonna slope off that way a little bit, isn't it? So I'm gonna go there. 15. I don't think I need to go quite 15. Not really helping me there, is it? But it didn't need to. Double bogey. I have to go in the drink twice. Puts me right down the leaderboard. Not a bad second shot there as a recovery. Should be able to get on with this third shot with a bit of that. Get on. Go on, there you go. Iron in. Nice little birdie there, folks. So, a shot of the day from me there. Brings me back to level par after 13. I've been out a bit of a run of, um, of birdies recently as well, so I'm going to try and just hit this one in this area here. Maybe for this turtle will help me out. Go on, give me a nudge. Yes, yeah, thank you. Whew, using the conditions to help me there. Again, it looks like a perfect shot. So I'm really on a bit of a roll at the moment. How is that not going in? Last in the leaderboard. I should have got a should have got a birdie then really folks, shouldn't I? You know it, I know it, we all know it. So what's this game like to play? It's quick and easy, mildly satisfying, quite good fun. Would be nice if there's two players, which there isn't. Then it'd be nice if the high scores on different courses as well, which there aren't. You can play in a free mode, which allows you just to muck about and you can change some of the settings so you can get rid of those little characters and you can um, have power-ups and things like that if you want. So there's quite a bit going on. Um, but just for a quick casual knock around, and this is what the Switch is good for, because you can just switch it straight back on again when you're in the game, you know? I think that's the beauty of the switch, really, more than anything. It's 
got that really nice rest mode so it instantly just switch on your playing and uh, stop that it's out on the green just about do the putt here yeah right minus two now just a couple of those to go let's go around the tree you can't get around the trees it's trouble so it's a bit of a shame it doesn't show you Don't show you on the little map where you where you're aiming. A bit of a shame. There you go. That's the way it is. Should be able to get a par here with a bit of luck. Right. Not going to win the tournament. Not going to finish last. Quick review of this, um, quick, well you've been watching a fair bit of this hopefully. Um, mucked up on the snap there. Actually a perfect shot. Um, I do like this game. I do recommend it. It's worth three or four quid, it's worth a fiver, it's really good fun. Um, I've got this on a sort of real cheap deal at the minute. It's really good fun and it's easy to play. It might be a little bit of sensible golf that came back out in the day in terms of the graphics and all the old little games we had on the Game Boy and stuff like that. But they kept the style good. So there we go folks, we ended up 300 in the end on that tournament. Um, didn't finish in the top three. I should have really, shouldn't I? I should have done better than that. Um, gained a lot of experience for that. I'm going to increase my yards a little bit and increase my control a little bit, I think. I'm not sure what the hell that does. And then I can just go in and out of that next tournament as well. And then you have to win tournaments to open up new courses. That's the way it basically works, folks, okay? So, um, that is Golfinity or Golfinet or whatever it's called on the Nintendo Switch. Catch you guys on the Golf Smooth flip side. <laughs>